Hi, boys and girls. Well, we just read a story about the Maryland State Riptile, which was, yep, the Diamondback Terrapin Turtle. And in your take home packet, you will find an outline that looks like this. So what you're going to do is cut around the main part. And just to make it easier, I would just go around the claws rather than trying to cut out each individual claw. And then just follow around the outside of the body of the Diamondback Terrapin Turtle because we're going to make our own Terrapin Turtle that we can use to show others and introduce them to the Maryland State Reptile, the Diamondback Terrapin Turtle. And for right now, he's pretty flat. He's pretty 2D, but we're going to find a way to make him stand up and look more realistic. So right now, I'm cutting around the outside, and it takes a bit of time to cut around the outside of the body of my Terrapin Turtle, especially since it's on cardstock but we need it to be on cardstock so that it is strong enough to stand up on its own which is what it's going to do when we're finished creating it and i'm nearly done got that last part of the outside here and then the last foot going around those claws because i don't want to cut out each one that will take too long all right so now it looks like this and you can see, I cut around the claws. I didn't cut out each individual one because that is going to take too long. Then you'll see there's these very interesting marks here. I'll tell you about those in just a minute because right now, since you've cut it out, now while it's flat is the time to color it because once we've finished building it, it will be too tricky to color. Now we want to be scientific about our coloring because we want this to be realistic for people when we introduce them to the Maryland State Reptile, the Diamondback Terrapin Turtle. And if you don't remember what he looks like, these are his colors right here. So light gray skin with freckles, a brownish kind of colored shell with swirly patterns. And then underneath on this edge here, it's kind of like a little bit yellowy brown right there. And here's our closer image. So now you get a better idea of the colors and the designs you should use when creating your turtle. I've colored my finished one, but for time's sake, I'm not going to color the one that I am cutting out and working on with you now, because that'll take too long, be too boring for you to see. But you can see how my end one looks just like a diamondback terrapin turtle. So when I'm showing people what they look like, people will be, oh, so that's what the Maryland State Reptile looks like. All right, once you've finished coloring your turtle, here's what those triangles are for. Okay, so only cut one side of the triangle. How many sides? Right just one side of the triangle. And then you're going to take tape. Glue doesn't work for this. It kind of needs to be tape. And you're going to take the tape and you're going to cover the triangle. When the triangle's covered and you can't see it anymore, put the tape on it. And do the same with the other triangle. Take a piece of tape, cover the triangle, and put the tape on there to hold it in place. And then you can see how he's changing from being flat 2D to being more realistic 3D. So I'm going to do the same with the triangles at the front. I'm going to take my scissors and cut how many sides of the triangle? Right, just one. Same on the other side just one side. Get my piece of tape and then take this side, cover the triangle and tape it in place. 
Do the same on the other side. Get a piece of tape, take my turtle, cover the triangle, and tape it in place. And now you can see he's not flat anymore. Now he has a nice curved shell. I can do the same with the little triangle here on his nose. One side of the triangle, piece of tape, cover the triangle. This one's pretty tricky. And then, oh, that one's really tricky. My fingers are much bigger than yours. There we go. And now he's got a shaped head and then I can fold it back. So it looks like he's got a shaped face. And then there's some on the legs, those triangles on the legs one side of the triangle and what do I do that's right piece of tape cover the triangle oh wrong way and tape it in place and then same on the other side one side of the triangle piece of tape cover it up and then Tape it in place. And now I have my more 3D shaped turtle that will be a model for me to introduce people to the state reptile. But of course, this one wasn't colored. But my other guy, he's been with me for years. Haven't you, Scoots? Uh -huh. Thanks, Scoots. And that way, I can show people my little diamondback terrapin turtle pet and they can learn about information for the Maryland State Reptile. All right, my friends, have fun creating your turtle. Now remember, it is tricky, but persevere. Never give up, never surrender, always stick with it. Persevere. All right, my friends, I look forward to meeting your pet terrapin turtles.